Hey guys, got a little product review for you today. Um, I'm not going to be doing these on um, on the regular. I don't buy that much stuff, but when I do and I think it's worth doing, um, I will post a video um, and let you guys know what's going on. Um, I ordered this Miltech Molly backpack off of Amazon for. $39.99 plus a handling fee. It came out to like $42 and change. Um, what I didn't know after not receiving the backpack for about three, almost four weeks is that it was actually being shipped out of Ireland. Um, so I was frustrated about that. I emailed the company. They emailed me back within 24 hours and got that straightened away and I actually received it um, yesterday. Um, <coughs> and I'd actually emailed them the day before. Um, I went out snowshoeing with this backpack. I stuffed it full of um, a camel pack, two water bottles, some food, uh, extra layers, fire starter, first aid kit, and it, it actually it held everything very well. It was very comfortable to carry, but I just wanted to go over some of the things that I really like about this pack uh, for being such a inexpensive pack uh, the quality of it is just absolutely amazing. <clears throat> it's a 30 liter um, mil, mil spec Molly backpack. It has two smaller pockets in the front. It is a polyester with a PVC lining on the inside. So everything is almost 100% waterproof. Um, all the pockets are PVC lined all these molly attachments all over the pack um, I have my Gerber LMF2 on here temporarily I'm not going to be carrying this on here all the time but just to give you guys a give you guys a view of what that looks like on there that fits on there just perfectly it's not going anywhere I didn't even know it was there I had to keep, keep checking um, to make sure that you know that that the molly didn't fail uh, when I was snowshoeing because it's getting jostled around and stuff like that it's held up really really well um, it's got this nice little nice little PVC lined uh, grab handle here padded shoulder straps these D-rings are absolutely awesome I can run my camel back uh, right down through here it has this velcro pack here it goes all the way down to the bottom for a camel back that worked out really nice. This is all very thickly padded here. And, you know, even though I didn't have that much stuff in here the other day, it was so, so comfortable to carry. Um, and it's really, really light. Um, again, like I said, this is a 30 liter pack, so it's not that big. I think it's 16 and a half inches tall by 9 and a half inches wide, I do believe. Um, <coughs> It has clips on both sides, which I'm not really a big fan of, but I'm sure it'll serve a purpose sooner or later. Have my laptop in there for right now because I was roaming around. It's got a huge, huge inside pocket here. Small zippered pocket for, you know, a little package of band-aids or something like that. It's got this little mesh liner pocket here. I'm sure that'll come in handy sometime. But again, like I said, all of this is PVC line, uh, polyester. Really, really good quality. I was not expecting um, great quality out of a cheap $40 Amazon pack. This is the second bigger pocket. Again, little little pouch here, little little pouches there. That goes all the way down to the bottom. There's plenty of space in this little pack. This would be a great little, you know, maybe two, three day bug out bag. Um, my my personal use for it is actually going to be a first aid pack. Uh, I'm an outdoor emergency care technician um, at a local mountain uh, working ski patrol. That's why I ordered this pack. It's gonna come. It's gonna be awesome for it. I love it. Down here, uh, you got tensioners that actually web through this molly so you, I can throw I can throw rope, paracord, um, whatever I need down in there. It's got the waistband. All the clips are really heavy duty. 
I don't think I'm going to be busting any of these anytime soon, which is going to be great. The only thing I don't like about this waist strap is that it's not padded and it doesn't have any pouches along it. Uh, but there, I am looking into um, a couple of pouches that I can actually slide onto this on either side. And they actually have padding on the inside, so that's going to give me uh, more padding around my hip area, which is going to be good. Um, again, the company is Miltech. I'm not sure where they're out of. I'm assuming it's I'm assuming it's Ireland, um, because that's where it was. That's where it was shipped from from the warehouse. Um, is this is just a great little pack for forty dollars? I could not find anything else um, of this quality at my local Army Surplus store. Um, nothing had that I was looking at. Nothing had this. PVC liner on the inside. Um, Voodoo Tactical for a pack about this size was running almost $130. Um, and in my in my opinion, <clears throat> this will last um, the same, if not longer, than one of those Voodoo packs. And I do believe that it's it feels a lot more rugged. Um, than one of those packs. I've never owned one. I'm not bashing them whatsoever, but just from just from me doing my research um, and things of that nature, I think this pack is going to be really, really, really great. The Molly webbing on here is sewn in there. Amazing. It's not your average cheap ass Molly adapters. These are these are really rugged. These look like they're quadruple stitched on there. If you can see that, they are, they are on there. They are not going anywhere. You know, I could probably strap this on, hook this carabiner up to a rope, and dangle from a building if I really had to. You know, the clips the clips might not hold up to that, but um, this is a great, great backpack. 30 liter. It's going to have plenty of space. This is a great little day pack, maybe a little one, two day, possibly even three day bug out bag, depending on what you put in your bug out bags. And it fits my LMF2 on here just perfect. I love it. Um, it's going to be really, really great. And um, so go out and check out, check them out on Amazon. If you want to order one, go ahead. It, in my opinion, it's absolutely worth it. This backpack is going to get a good amount of use, and I'm sure you guys will be seeing it more um, in my future videos. Um, I'm actually changing um, some of the uh, focus points on my channel. It's going to be a lot more um, outdoor, more outdoor. It's going to be more self-reliance, um, <coughs> not so much bugging out, um, but outdoor self-reliance outdoor self-reliance trips, um, you know, some outdoor emergency care, stuff like that, um, you know, probably more shooting videos soon to come um, when I get my new handgun, um, things of that nature, so just stay tuned and I appreciate you guys watching, thanks.